Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Kid for Life. My name is Akhil Atyam. So, in the previous video, we learned some basic programming from scratch. In this video, we are going to be learning about variables. What are variables? Variables are like blocks that can store data. Data can be anything, numbers, words, basically whatever you like. So, this is what we will be creating today. The small RC car game. You can see that RC car got little trail effects. And we have a speed in kilometers per hour here. So that's basically what we're going to be doing. Right here is a variable. We'll see more of that when we start creating. Let's get back to scratch and click create. Creating project. Here we are. Get a flag. Get a forever loop. Get five I mean six if statements. I'm gonna right click on the top and click duplicate. We got six here. Go to operators. Operators has plus minus multiplication, pick random and or not round modify it has a lot of things but right now we want let's see we want a greater than than one here and a lesser than down here now you'll see why we need these let's set both of them to zero right here and go to variables right here you can see you got your variables right here are your variables in a little block you got set change show and hide let's re-click my variable and rename this variable we could make a new one but this is like better let's name this kmph you can name it miles per hour if you want but i'm going with kilometers per hour there let's drag some of these blocks and place them here and drag a change right here negative 0 0.1 so what this does is if kilometers per hour is greater than zero it will reduce the speed by negative 0 0.1 if it's below zero same thing except 0 0.1. Basically, you want it to go to 0. Once it's at 0, it won't do anything. Then we want to go back to our sensing. Bring out some key space. Or to be exact. We won't be using the key space exactly, but it's called key space pressed. Okay, so over here, first you want up arrow, down arrow, left, left arrow, and right arrow. Yeah, yeah. But before we do that, let's go to costumes and bring out costumes from our backpack. Yes, you can drag in costumes into your backpack. I have a small RC car, which is blue right here. I can modify to red if I want. Let's quickly shrink it. Because it's a little too big. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's very good at shrinking. Let's control Z. And instead, let's just shrink it here. Size 60. We could use a block, but this is much easier. Then for the backdrops, we want to bring in a costume RC central. I already pre-made all of these. And then in the sounds, let's remove the meow. Because I have my own RC sound. It'll be on repetition, but it's very tiny.
So there we go. And then we want a move 10 steps. Instead of move 10 steps, we bring in a variable kilometers per hour steps. In the up arrow, you want to put change kilometers per hour by 0 0.2. The reason we're doing 0 0.2 instead of 0 0.1 is if it's 0 0.1 scratch is like, oh, it's <clears throat> above zero. Let's reduce it by 0 0.1 and it goes back to zero. So when it's 0 0.2, it escapes and at least has some velocity to start. Let's put a change right here. Put a some negative 0 0.2. Let's see what we get so far. As you can see, we got a little car going back and forth. But it needs to turn. Go to motion. For right arrow, we want to turn clockwise 10 degrees. Then counterclockwise, it reduces it a little. And then 10 degrees. So now you got a functional RC car. You can't really see the kilometers per hour yet. We can either A, go to variable, show variable kilometers per hour. Right now, if I run it, you can see it's right here. Or B, just click show right here. Option B is less reliable because option A always does it. I'm not saying you can't but it's just less reliable. And now we have to make sure it starts at a zero zero because we don't want our cars to go crazy locations when it starts. And if other people play our games they're gonna be like where's your car? Which point in direction ninety that all is 90. Also, make sure to put a set kilometers per hour to zero. So, as you can see, our car is racing around. Now, let's add some effects to this car. As you can see, the project auto saved just now. So I can scroll all the way down, bring another event, one flat click, forever loop, sound, play RC sound until done. You can see now we have a RC sound, let me pause it. And now let's, how do we get trail effects? If you go to control, there's a tiny little concept called cloning. What that does is, it makes a duplicate of whatever you want. Currently, there's only one sprite, so myself is the only option. Let's drag something here. And then you can see there's a huge trail of clones right here. But we want these clones to go away after a while. So how do we do that? Well, Akara is making nice patterns. Now trying those clones to load. When you click the stop button, it does delete all the clones. So you want to drag. When I start the clone, and it just does not delete the clone, and to go up and get a repeat 10. That means whatever's in this loop only repeats 10 times, and then you execute what's below it. We want it to be 5 times. Go to looks. Change. Ghost effect by 20 or 25. As you can see, now we got a trail effect. It makes it look like the car is going incredibly fast. The faster you go, the longer the trail. But as you can see, sometimes the car goes into the edges. How do we avoid that? We can scroll up here, go to motion, and get all the way down on motion and drag if on edge bounce this means if it's ever on the edge it bounce down the other way. 
as you can see now whenever I hit the wall it just bounce 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 bouncy ball car so now we have RC Central which is very able to create many many kind of game very is a very core concept let's review what we have learned today so today we have learned about variables variables are objects that can score data data in variables can be anything from numbers to words and the cloning to create a duplicate of the sprite cloning does not mean that the duplicate will follow the same code as the original it will have to follow if you want it to follow the same code you have to repeat that code in when i start it as a clone so that's it for today friends next time also make sure to like share and subscribe for more videos plus if you hit the notification bell you will never miss out another video see you then goodbye